Greetings, my esteemed audience. I'm checking in from a rainy forest of enlightenment and I thought to elaborate on the nature of love. I'm checking in in the form of a sensitive poet and as such it pains me to share such unromantic insights as I will share in this fine video. So as you see in the title, a mother's love and unconditional love. What does it mean? Yes, simply put, it means that there is one person in the world who loves you unconditionally. She loves you no matter what. Then of course you have exceptions, maybe you have a grandmother who does the same, but I'm painting with a very broad brush here. So we're painting a broad picture of the, um, of the situation at hand. So yeah, take it for what it is. Uh, there are, as always, many exceptions, but usually the case that your mother loves you unconditionally. Most mothers do at least. And this is also something you can see if you have uh, some sort of criminal who's been shot by the police and then you'll have the mother crying and saying that he was a good boy. Because for for most mothers, all it doesn't really matter what happens. Their, uh, their beloved boy, their beloved son will always be in their eyes a good boy. Uh, but the world might see it in a in a different way, of course. Now this can be contrasted against a woman's love. A woman's love which is very conditional. It depends on your performance as a man. And now this is the unromantic part here which I don't really like to talk about because as I said, I'm a, a sensitive romantic poet who believes in, in love and uh, nice epic love poems and, and the like. But uh, yeah, we need to be real about the situation because the the Pandora's box is opened and uh, the, uh, the deeper, darker aspects of female psychology they are out in the open. So it's better that you hear this insight from me now than that you experience it for yourself. So basically I said a few videos, in a few videos I've said that you as a man, you create your value so a woman already has her value because she is biologically more valuable and as a man you have to create your value. So for your mother you're valuable as you are but for others you're only you're only so much worth as the the value you can bring to others. Same thing in a in a love relationship that you know a woman will of course determine the quality of a man. Now a woman's attraction will of course depend on a wide variety of factors. Uh, primary one is drive, ambition, your thumos. Now, to properly understand this, we need to view it in an evolutionary sense. You have a woman, she is her survival and the survival of her children depends on the man's capability. So she is by necessity allergic to behaviors in a man that could spell death, literally, for her and her offspring. So if she perceives the man as being weak, being lazy, being stupid, all of these things, being cowardly, all of these things, then she will lose attraction because it's not a good investment for a woman to be with a man who will put her in danger because he's incompetent. So that is completely normal, it's fine. So it doesn't make women bad or anything, it's not a bad evolutionary trait, it's completely normal. Of course a woman needs to look out for herself and her children. And for a woman she's always, you know, again, unconditional love from the mother to her children. And therefore she needs to be on the lookout for bad signs in the man. So weakness or cowardice. And when I say weakness, I don't mean that you need to be deadlifting 300 kilos. There are plenty of complete cowards who are, you know, pseudo tough guys. You have power lifters, strong men, Martial artists, they are complete cowards when push comes to shove. When the heat comes on, they crack because they don't have that axis mundi within them. They don't have that genuine strength and toughness. But usually it's the case that if a man is physically strong, he's also mentally strong because the two go hand in hand. But when I say strength, it's the strength to be a stable rock in, um, in her life, in her children's life. So you need to become the axis mundi that she can rely on in uh, in all circumstances. And now we get into the question, should you ever cry in front of your wife? Well, the, the short answer is no, but there are also situations where it's completely fine. The, the part that is not fine is when you show hesitation and you show that you, you feel hopeless. That type of cry, 
that causes terror and fear in her and of course makes her lose attraction to you but if you cry for some other reason whatever it might be maybe you you cry for the for the beauty of a, a landscape or whatever it might be uh, i don't say that you should do it but there's different type of um, emotional um, states of consciousness so the the type of emotion you should never show is this hopelessness and uh, lack of drive laziness and you know you feel despair so you should never despair you can be you can be sad or you can be sensitive but it should never be because you are insecure or if you feel hopeless or anything like that because that in her evolutionary mind is you know it spells that you're afraid to go out of the cave to hunt megafauna to supply for her and her children evolutionary speaking now again i'm painting with a very broad brush here and if you are if you have gotten a man cold and you bemoan your fate any good loving a good loving wife she will nurse you back to health and not think twice about it but if you have a if she observes a pattern uh, a habit in you that is you know has to do with laziness for example yeah that can be um that can make her lose attraction for you and then she perceives not logically but her evolutionary psychology it interprets that as a as a mortal danger for her and her children that you don't have the the drive the ambition to go out of the cave to hunt said megafauna now i'm just using this as an example but hopefully you know what i mean and now a note on female hypergamy there are good aspects and bad aspects of it so we need to make the a distinction between a married woman a woman with children and an unmarried woman without children now there is in my mind it is completely normal natural and even good for a woman to leave a man if she perceives him as being unable to do his duty so it's usually quite common to see men lamenting the fact that women don't want to settle down to have children but in many situations it's because of the man he isn't ready he isn't ready he doesn't have the courage to settle down and to have children now i'm not talking about these american conservatives who say you need to man up and marry a, a woman with a um, very long very large body count i'm not saying that i'm saying that there are men young men if they've been together with their girlfriend for a few years she wants to have babies of course because that's what all women want uh, maybe she doesn't say it but you should be able to understand that she she does want it whether she says it or not it's uh, completely normal and now she might perceive that the man he's lazy he doesn't want to he can't give her what she wants babies a family yeah then it's completely normal if she decides to leave him to find a man who can actually do his duty who can actually fulfill her as a woman by simply put impregnating her so huge difference between a married woman with children and an unmarried woman without children now since we are on the topic i'm of course completely against no fault divorce because the primary victim of a divorce is the child or the children so that is a completely different thing and if i have any young woman listening to this it's quite easy actually it's quite easy this is how it's been done for in every culture in every time basically perennial wisdom from the golden one right here so if he doesn't want children with you now i'm not saying that it needs to happen now perhaps your living situation it's uh, not optimal for it but if he doesn't if he doesn't have a plan if you don't have a plan then he has no business being intimate with you if he doesn't want to have if he doesn't want to create a family then you you shouldn't give up yourself to him simply put so if you want a family if you want children then you say that to him that okay either we make a plan it doesn't need to happen right now but we should have a plan and if and if he says no i'm not ready then you say okay then i close my legs and uh, and um, then we can break up because this isn't because this isn't leading anywhere and then you can find a man who's ready to actually create something with you instead of just wasting time so a bit of tough love here from me a bit of tough love but uh, it needs to be said and of course if you're a man perhaps i'll make a separate video saying make your girlfriend pregnant or leave her something like that that is also true that if you have a, a relationship and if you aren't ready for some reason 
then let her go, let her go, so she can find someone to start a family with, because women are more time sensitive, as it were. They can't waste as much time as a man. I don't think you should waste too much time as a man either, by the way. But yeah, the, uh, the honorable thing is to do then, when you have come to this realization at least. Uh, this is new knowledge for, for many guys, of course, because you've been taught by contemporary culture that the right thing is to focus on your own pleasure and not take responsibility and a child is such a such a burden it is not a burden a child is a blessing by the way so to conclude a mother's love unconditional she will love you no matter what you do this is good and bad if that's the only type of love if you don't get any tough love from others in your life then it might be bad because then you you expect to be loved no matter what you do but it's also good to have that safe haven in the form of a mother who will always be there for you no matter what but when it comes to a woman's love it is conditional it depends on your value your value and usefulness to her and her children and this is something good in a woman it's a good normal natural evolutionary trait of a woman and it will keep you sharp as well so i've seen over all of these years i've seen a few guys they are in a good shape they're driven and then they end up in a relationship they think the the quest stops there because they've already gotten the woman but the the hard part is not to get a woman it's to keep a woman interested in you attracted to you and then you can't just stop because that's you know she's attracted to your drive and to retain the attraction you need to retain your drive simple stuff really so you need to be jacked you need to go to the gym you need to do deadlifts if you can perhaps you have a an issue with your back then you shouldn't then you can do some bench press you should train train some MMA, train some with firearms as well, do be a good dependable man and also have that axis mundi within you, have that inner strength so that she can always rely on you to be a calm presence. No one expects you to be a superman but at least you can be a, a calm confident presence in her life that she can always lean on and rely on. So even if you get even if you are sick or if you are weak temporarily, as long as you maintain your inner, your spiritual composure, then uh, all will be well. So yeah, something to keep in mind that don't stop developing yourself just because you end up in a relationship. You need to continue because otherwise she might perceive that as a, as a bad trait in you, as a bad habit, and then she will lose attraction and then yeah, it's downhill from there. So do keep the greater goal in mind and push towards excellence and and yeah, all will be well. So anyway, thank you for listening to my ramblings here out in uh, somewhat dreary Hyperborea. Do check out all the links in the description box below. Do read Dauntless and Demigod Mentality. It's a good investment, I assure you. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. XOXO, boom.